All right. Since uh, this is my first attempt at uh, doing a live review, um, I've been asked by JJ from uh, Soapalicious, www.soap-a-licious.com, um, to do a review on his 50-50 uh, bomb and wax. This stuff here, it it's amazing, um, and that's that's putting it nicely. Um, the the his normal bombs, they're a little light in the hold, awesome in the sense, awesome in the conditioning, just left a little bit uh, on the outside. Hey JJ, um, for the hold, so he recommended trying out the fifty fifty bomb, which I have. And first off, you know, it comes in a nice, nice little metal tin like most beard products do. You know, it's typical. Um, consistency. You open this stuff up and you can see, it's kind of hard to see a little bit of a shadow there. So I'm trying to get it. Um, it's a little, you scrape it. Now, obviously, it's a little little softer than normal because it's, it's warm outside. Um, I carry this one with me today and trying it out, getting it uh, the beard down. It's a little little humid today, so I had to keep the the fuzzies in. Um, scent wise, it's a light, very light peppermint is the best way that I can explain it. My wife, my daughter, I asked them, you know, smell it, tell me what they thought of it right off the bat. My wife says it reminds her of mint chocolate chip ice cream. All right, I'll, I'll go with that. I. I once you smell it a few times, you do, you know, then get the uh, aroma of the green, typical mint ice cream. Um, very light uh, in the smell. You scrape it out, and I use, typically, when I go to use it, you know, your typical thumbnail. You know, sometimes I'll double up, get it in there real good. Um, but when you take it, and again... With it being warmer out, it's a little softer, a little bit easier to use, possibly cooler months. You have to scrape it a little bit harder. I get that. Um, Hold-wise, you know, take it, little, little, smear it up good and on there. Get it in there, you know, and it it's weird. And I, I, I've said this from the beginning when I got it. Um, it doesn't set up right away. <clears throat> little 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 knot there um get it in there i've been trying to work on the stash again it's kind of hard to see with the glare um with the shadows but you get the idea you know i have a i say a medium-sized beard compared to some of the guys that i know um some people call me a, a five o'clock shadow i won't go get into that but uh those those guys know who they are um it, it, it leaves a uh, little bit of residue in your hands. You know, nothing that you can't work in. I always, I end up working half of it through my hair anyway. Saves on the hair products. <laughs> um, about 20 minutes after you put it in, it, it sets up perfectly. Like, I, I use a lot of different products. I've been around... Some of the beard products I've started with, uh, some of the the well-known brands, um, and I've not had one that's set up like this. You would think a wax, it's gonna hold, it's gonna be hard. Um, this one doesn't get hard; it holds its holds its shape, you know, but it's still pliable. You know, I I, I take my 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 wonderful beard brush, brush it through. Get it set up where I want it, and I'm good. I let it go, and it's perfect. You know, it stays put for the rest of the day. And you can see it's still, still kind of fluffy. Still, you know, keeps it the beard, keeps the flyaways, keeps the frizzes down in the humidity that we've been having right now in Northeast PA, Pennsylvania beard order. Um, <laughs> it keeps it down. You know, keeps the mustache in place without having a real thick, heavy hold. Um, again, this is my first time doing a review. Throwing it out there, you know, trying it out, doing them on my own. 
and uh, check him out. www.soapalicious.com. Check out his beard soaps. Bar none the best stuff out there. I'll be doing a review on one of them shortly. Um, hope, you all, hope you all like it. Let me know. Hit me up on uh, Instagram. I am Big Daddy Beardo, or at Big Daddy Beardo, and on Facebook, you can find me, check me out, let me know what you think, check it out, um, let, let JJ know what you think of his product too, throw him out the, uh, his, his constructive criticism, I've dealt with a lot of crafters that do their, their beard products, and uh, I gotta say, JJ goes above and beyond, stand up. Stand up company, stand up business, some great product. Um, yeah, check it out. Have a good one. Good night. Where's that off button?